This morning I have been milking, uh, got back from the goats and did a few chores and I also yesterday just before heading out to work I noticed one of my pumpkins in the house. It had a um, slight discoloration, a different look to it and I touched it to check it and it wobbled. <laughs> um, which obviously is not a good thing to have a rotting pumpkin in the house. So I quickly transferred it to a truck and popped it outside the door. So this morning I dealt with it and that involved basically putting it in a wheelbarrow, bringing it down to the chickens and cutting it open. Um, as a rule my chickens don't bother too much with a pumpkin. Uh, they might eat the seeds in it but it just gives them a bit of interest and something to do before I throw it on the compost heap. But what in this instance I did want to do was save some seed. So I did scoop out and I've given it a quick rinse. It's a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin was what the seeds came from. But I have that many squash in my garden. Obviously there could have been some cross-pollinations that might not produce an actual jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. But I do have a friend who wants to grow pumpkins for carving uh, for her two little boys. She did plant some seeds but unfortunately she planted them sort of too, well far far too early. She planted them when she carved, she bought some pumpkins, carved them and planted those seeds. So I've said I will stick some seeds in of some kind of pumpkin so that she has something. So I think I will try these seeds for her um, and we'll see, see what we get. So that was this morning so far, um, now I'm just potting on, I had a few flowers in the house that have been neglected. These are some dahlia, so I'm going to pop them on and I've got a few leggy cosmos, uh, so I'm going to stick those in some pots. This morning after milking I was speaking to the farmer that owns the, the goat farm and we were talking about gardening and he said he needed to put his broad beans in. To which I said I don't grow broad beans anymore, I grow field beans. And he looked a bit confused with field beans, I was like literally the, the beans you put in your field, it's the same, the same kind of beans. And he said, oh okay, I suppose, yeah. But it made me realise, I said I don't grow broad beans, it doesn't mean I haven't tried to grow broad beans. Um, so, and he, he will always take spare plants. When I've got spare plants, they'll, I can give them to him and he'll find space in his garden. So I'm due to sow some more field beans for my garden anyway. Um, and I have a big box of seeds. That, that box is mainly like French beans, runner beans and broad beans and peas and things like that. The, the bigger seeds rather than the small packets that go in my other box. So I dug them out and I have got a lot of part packets of broad beans. Some of them are older than the others. These two here are slightly newer. These are very old. Doesn't mean to say they won't germinate, they just probably have a, a lower rate of germination. And these are what I believe I bought last year. Um, and last year my problem wasn't actually the growing of the broad beans, my problem was the germinating and it wasn't actually the germination rate, it was them not being eaten by rodents. The problem I normally have when growing them is black fly. They, they just get swamped. Um, this, specific to this garden, they get swamped, which is why I thought I'd try the field beans this year. Um, the, these ones I grew because they had a different coloured flower, so yeah, they'd look pretty. Um, so I might try, try these again and see if I can get anything out of them. These ones I'm just going to plant in a big tray and see what germinates and if I get any 
good looking plants then I will pass them on to somebody who does grow broad beans and will hopefully have more success than me. And that way I've cleared out some space in my seed box as well. I'm just going to pop a few more flower seeds in and I appreciate that with these ones I might be a bit late to the game. These are some home saved sweet peas. So you can sow sweet peas in autumn and overwinter them or you sow them in early spring. I mean it is still March so I should be fine. So I don't know whether these seeds are viable, I don't know whether they'll germinate in time. I haven't soaked them or anything like that, I, I don't normally. I normally just stick them in the soil and let them go. So we'll we'll pop them in in the pots and we'll we'll see what they do. And then I have some home saved marigold and some home saved calendula. And I'm just going to pop some soil in trays, sprinkle them on the soil and we'll see what happens. final little job before I go inside is to pot up some of my flax. I did do a whole tray the other day but I've since had more pop up in my little pot with flax seeds in it. So I'm going to prick them out into these pots and fill up a couple of rows and then these ones will stay in the greenhouse for a while. The other tray I've popped in the potting shed so I'm just covering all bases because you see the climate's slightly different within each of these spaces. And then once I've done that, I will be off into the house. So I will say now thank you for watching and hopefully see you again next time.